Chinese by blood, Filipino by heart. Hashtag Roots is brought to you by Dash Cargo, propelling possibilities. BA Securities, your trading partner in Asia Pacific. With the Chinese family and the Filipino family, you have to have a bit deeper understanding of each culture and tradition. I need to work it out between the two families, lalo na given that, that I'm a Chinese and si Sham is uh, Filipina. I was told nga, na when we were there, there were a lot of people who said, oh, that's like that, when Chinese, uh, you're sure. Different the culture, nila, and then how they treat in-law, they do the same, lalo na kapag hindi ikaw, uh, Chinese. It's not just between the two of us, but accepting that this is a relationship between two families, which is a Chinese family and a Filipino family. The first time I saw Sham was parang TV commercial ng ng cream silk nakita ko na siya doon and then kaya nung nung nabigyan kami ng ticket ng cousin ko to watch parang puro siya nang siya yung nakakuha ng award parang niloko ko lang mom ko sabi ko eh, eh kung yan ba yung liligawan ko eh papayagan niyo ako doon yung sinabi niya na parang oy hindi eh, una-una Filipina yan hindi pwede so well it started from there. Oh, the first time I met him, talaga sa birthday ko, I had like a big birthday party where I invited my family, my friends, and my fellow beauty queens. We saw Carol arrive. Actually, I was sitting with my mom, and tanong agad niya, oh, sino yung kasama ni Carol? Ah, oh, bakakay bago siyang boyfriend or something. So parang ah, oh, kano oh, matang kada, ganon ganon ganon. So parang actually. Kumbaga, pagdating pa lang ni Lloyd, medyo napansin na namin siya. And then Carol um, asked me if I was single. Tapos sabi ko, um, yeah, oo, single, sabi ko. Sabi niya, itong cousin ko single din, sabi niya. Baka gusto mong mag-date kayo. I, I asked for her number. Eh, yung time na yun, nakainom lang ako ng isang glass ng, ng wine. Pulang-pula ka, eh, yung, yung mukha ko. So pag lapit ko sa kanya, Pahinga number, hindi <laughs> naman niya binigay. <laughs> Ay ko, parang lasing to ako. <laughs> parang ayaw ka ibigay yung number ko, parang gano'n. So sabi ko, punin mo kay Carol. And then, ay, meron siyang number ko, parang gano'n. And then, the next morning, syempre nagintay ako ng text. So, wala, wala talagang text. So, sabi ko, bakit, bakit Paano kaya? Paano mo ba-text? Hindi mo binigay? Hindi, syempre kukunin mo, di ba? Ay, Kasama na mo naman si Carol. Sinabi niya na kunin ko sa cousin ko. Sabi niya, hindi binigay siya ako, bad ko. Ayun, sabi siya nag-text, so gano'n. So, check his Facebook, um, curious. So, pumunta ako sa page ni Carol, and then I was like browsing. Tapos nahanap ko yung page niya, yung profile page niya. A stalker. <laughs> Pag bukas ko na page, ng, ng Facebook page niya, aba, meron na siyang photos nung last night's party, yung sa booth, yung photo booth. Kompleto. Nauna pa siya. Eh, di ba, party ko yun. So, nag-message ako. Ako yung unang nag-message. Ako, hi, ganyan, ganyan, ganyan. Si Chamsi. Sabi ko, paano mo nakuha yung photos dun sa party ko last night? Tapos yung pala, yung photo booth na kinuha namin is staff nila sa company. Kaya, kaya siya may access. So, dun nagsimula yung aming, um, like, chat. <laughs> Facebook chat. <laughs> Through Facebook. Ako yung nag-message. Finally, binigay namin niya yung number niya. So, nagka-text nagka na kami. And then, I, I think third day, ano na, no? Nag-call na. Call na. Yeah. Mabilis eh. So, one week, ang tawag nyo na, parang, ano, isang linggong pag-ibig. <laughs> so, pagkating ng fourth day, parang nakikipag-set na ako ng date. On a Saturday, we went on a date. Uh, punta na rin siya sa bahay namin to meet my parents. And then, uh, the following day, which is a Sunday, pumunta, siya sa house. pumunta ako sa house niya, na-meet ko na rin yung parents niya. So, from there, pagdating ng Monday, nakikipag-break na sa akin. <laughs> <laughs> Parang din. <laughs> Ganun kabilis. Oh. Kabilis. Walang pakipot. 
Okay. At that time, it's like, uh, like I was still, I was still, co- I mean, preparing for Miss Universe, and then I feel like it was a distraction. Di kami na tulog nun. Ano? I mean, sa phone. Di kami From talaga. From Sunday evening up to Monday morning, tuli tuli kami. Uh, gusto na alignment, ah, sige, alignment tayo. So, <laughs> lahat ng mga plans niya sa buhay niya, plans ko sa buhay ko, na-discuss na namin on the seventh day. Yeah. Sabi niya na parang seryoso siya, na parang hindi ito parang just just for now, and that he is really looking into marriage. Yung ganun, yung parang seryoso na talaga. Sa seventh day, parang seryoso na siya. So, parang doon, tanda simula na parang, sige, push natin. <laughs> Involved. Yung first six months so, na yun, kasama pa yung pagrereto sa akin ng tatay ko sa ibang babae. May mga nga ganun pang eksena. Kasi hindi pa, hindi pa kami official. So, basically, hindi pa rin alam ng dad ko na na meron akong girlfriend. So, yun nga, naririnig niya na parang may dinidate ako. So, tinatry niya din ako introduce sa iba yung um, girls. Nakipagkaibigan naman ako. Hindi, kumbaga... Well, with respect to, to our parents. So, so malaking bagay yung kaya siya ako kasi parang na, na-screen na yan ng parents mo eh. That's how it is in Chinese. Hindi naman nakakaya mo kaya siya ako. Kasi para at, umaga, at least pre-approved na sa parents. Ang kailangan mo nilang alamin kung approved sa'yo. Okay, the kaya siya concept means it's either the parents would have somebody for you. So they will talk. Arranged marriages are very normal in the past. The good concept of that, no, there's pros and cons to the fixed marriages, is that basically you're saying love is a decision. It's not just emotions or feelings. Yeah, the modern Kaishao now has become digital. No? Uh, and we've heard now of dating apps, and may mga Facebook group na pwede kang mag-kaishaw, check mo itong Filipino-Chinese uh, man or woman, di ba? Now, that also changes the dynamic no? because it's now digital. No? So, a lot of parents, they don't understand the digital concept of oh, na, na online lang, tapos mag-date kayo, baka ano yan, di ba? But now, for the next generation, it's very normal. First impressions during kaishaw, well, it was funny. I guess from my end, it was kind of mysterious in that sense. It was amidst the pandemic, they posted me. So JD had like a checklist there of like things like, oh, dapat Chinese, dapat Christian, ganon. Kasi yung sa akin, my criteria was, yung non-nego ko is Christian, tsaka matangkad. So pasok naman siya sa tangkad, tapos meron siyang picture dun na may abs. So yun yung bait. I would say, all... 90% of our dates was at each other's houses. We exposed each other to our family members. I think what's uh, the advantage of he- being in the same uh, racial relationship, no, yung same race kayo na Filipino-Chinese, is there's no big adjustments when it comes to culture. I think culture is very important. And when you enter into a relationship, maganda that you know the background of each and every culture. And now having a Filipino-Chinese family and coming together as a Filipino-Chinese couple, there'll be less of that, less research on what's proper, what's not, what are value systems, and what's not really that valuable to certain cultures. Chinese by blood, Filipino by heart. Hashtag Roots is brought to you by Landlight, your total lighting solution. Poland Hopia. Chinese General Hospital and Medical Center, exceptional care within reach. AgriPro Premier Nutrition Inc. GAOC. Jimmy C. Chua Beng Tang. Nation Paper Products and Printing Corporation. Japan Parts Trading Center. Alejandro Ko. Global Diesel and GU Engineering. Enrique Chua. Sherwin Choi. Albert Ko. Jersey Haven. 
Veco paper. Water care. PG Flex Linoleum and Maruyama Tarpaulin. Ford Tractor Philippines, your long-term agriculture partner. Tony D. William Goshako. Gabby Ang. Chinese by blood, Filipino by heart. When we had this like family, small family meeting, sabi niya sa akin, alam mo siya, when I first learned that Lloyd was dating a beauty queen, I was really against it, sabi niya. To the point na uh, tinawagan ko lahat ng kaibigan ko at sinabihan ko sila na pakilala yung anak ko. So, nakailang dala daw siya kay Lloyd sa mga dinners, kanya na pilapakilala yung mga um, mga daughters ng you know common friends. Sabi niya, dumating daw sa point na narealize niya na it was a lost cause. Natinanggap niya na na wala na si Lloyd had had eyes for no one. Two years kami engaged, and then. That's the time na medyo mag naging makulay ang aming buhay. For six months, it was just the two of us. Like, you know, um, making our relationship strong. Like, learning about each other. Parang discovering ano ba yung plano namin. Like, hmm. as an individual. Goals, ano pero, pero hindi pa mga ka involved yung family. But after well, the uh, engagement, doon talaga na parang kasali na sila. Alam mo yun? So, syempre, parang doon pala nagsimula yung parang uh, mga complications and konting struggles. Kasi before, it's just the two of us. Ano ba yung um, hindi mo pwedeng i-compromise? Ano ba yung non-negotiables mo? Dapat doon align kayo. Kasi kung doon pa lang, hindi na kayo align. Kahit love nyo yung isa't isa, there will come a point in your relationship that you will have to choose. And if it's against your belief, lagi kayo mag-aaway. Siguro stronger devotion, stronger commitment to each other. Lalo na kung coming from a Chinese and Filipino family, you have to be committed uh, to that cause, like uh, to one another, to be able to prove not just to each other, but to both families na you're really for each other. So kasi siguro difference with Lloyd, if I was the Chinese, um, I was from the Chinese family, and my parents would say, "Hindi kailangan Chinese." I would just have followed. I would just have followed because I don't. I don't. I don't want a conflict. Eh. And kato nang si Lloyd, he's a leader. Like for him, if I, ito, ito yung pinili ko, whether hindi kayo agree or hindi kayo supportive, hindi rin ako yung all out na ah magrebelde ako. Hindi niya kano. He will, he will do it in a very civilized way. I've heard scripts from my parents and narratives that growing up, your friends should be Chinese, everybody that you meet should be Chinese, we send you to a Chinese school, even though we're Filipinos, right? It comes from, I think, our parents or our relatives wanting to guard. Yan ang Great Wall eh. When the Great Wall of China was built, it was to guard the borders so that no foreign influence and, uh, and uh, invaders would come to China. That's why they built such a Great Wall. And, and second thing with the Great Wall is it was a picture of supremacy. Eh. We could build this wall that even outside, in, in, if you look at the, at the planet Earth, you'll see a part of the Great Wall on, on the map, you know. And for the Chinese, it was saying, we have to guard this culture that's very important to us. Now, when it comes to us as Filipino Chinese now, I think there's that 
there's that mentality of, hey, I need to guard these certain things that we really value as Chinese. And I think we need to be proud of it. I don't think we need to be ashamed of it. No? But we get the good sides of those culture and try to apply it so that I could thrive in life. My take on the Great Wall, ever since I was a kid, I'd normally be attracted to like Phil Chirinaman. And while well, I was also studying in a Chinese school, um, so I'm you're constantly interacting with Phil Chai people to begin with. Ako, I think the Great Wall, I get why it exists. I get what the parents are thinking when they put that Great Wall there. But I feel like as long as they don't impose it and then they trust their kids in making the right decision, um, I think it's fine. Because there's the Great Wall where you're like, we want somebody to have the same culture as you, to have the same values as you. Like, what parent doesn't want their kids to have a good life? I think yun yung parang how to break the great wall. Kailangan decisive ka and stick to it. Hindi ka pwede, ah kasi sinabi ni ganito, wag ganito, or mawawalan ako ng mana. Siya, doesn't matter. Ito yung decision ko. Kaya, wala magawa. <laughs> Kaya natundoy, eh, di ba? Pero, to, pero he had a way to do it, to not be disrespectful, and to not be, kumbaga hindi siya, you make it away kayo or like you make it a stressful situation like sa kanya he he find he 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 was able to find a way to show the people around us na this is my decision i hope that you support me but i will still be you will still, still be my family even if you don't accept it Enjoy kayo sa tinghon kasi madaming regalo, di ba? <laughs> Tsaka yung madaming may gifts. experience niya na naglalakad siya ng patalikod. Uh -oh. Parang ano siya. Masaya. Masaya siya. Tsaka ang daming, ang daming kong friends na parang matuwa. Kasi first time nila to witness like a, a Chinese engagement uh, party. Tinghon or engagement is in a way announcing to the world that I'm about to get married. And for the Chinese, the very distinct Chinese is that this is the bride's family, right? Giving away their daughter. That's the thing. So most of the time, majority that I know, it's the bride's family who would shell out the money to, uh, to invite relatives to come and they would eat. And then, nagbibigay na sila ng mga watch, jewelry, gold, di ba? Nagpapalitan yan eh, di ba? I, I think the importance of Ting Hun is again to say, my daughter's valuable. No? Mahalin mo yan. Okay, dapat uh, treasure mo yan, value mo yan, tulad ng value namin sa kanya. sa medyo ano din ako doon medyo against ako nga kasi it was such a big a big um, party dalawang to the point room. na naging dalawang ballroom dahil hindi na siya magkasya sa isa alam mo yun so yung But guests then, namin napunta pa sa smaller, smaller ballroom uh, tapos sa bigger ballroom 800 sila doon tapos karamihan sa kanila hindi namin kilala <laughs> yeah. so parang but then, eventually, sabi ko, okay naman. I mean, na-enjoy namin yung party kasi lipat-lipat kami. So, may satellite pa, na parang sa kabila kami, may program sa kabila, may program sa, sa other side. And then, um, pag tinitin, look, looking back at memories, it was a happy Masaya. naman. Oh, happy kasi, day. Kung baka, kung baka our parents really know better. Yeah, they know they better. They know the, whole, the, the bigger picture of it. Oh, siguro, yun nga eh, parang we always just have to um, determine ano yung non-negotiables, yun lang. Yun lang hindi mo, ano, kahit ano mangyari, hindi ako papayag. Nabag sinabi, hindi, papayta natin yung boyfriend mo ng iba, yun, non-negotiable yun. Talagang hmm. paglalapan mo yun. Pero yung mga color motif or like music na gagamitin, it will not affect you in the long run. Like, like, Lagi mo isipin, ano yung importante? Importante yung mapapangasawa mo. 
hindi yung kasal. Chinese by blood, Filipino by heart. Hashtag Roots is brought to you by H. Barber, world leader in beach equipment by Go Tractora. Real Estate Hub. Agri Pro Premier Nutrition Inc. Sky Law. Jimmy C. Chua Beng Tang. Nation Paper Products and Printing Corporation. Japan Parts Trading Center. Alejandro Ko. Global Diesel and GU Engineering. Anson Tan. Enrique Chua. Sherwin Choi. Albert Ko. Jersey Haven. Chan Kwan. Thomas Kua. PG Flex Linoleum and Maruyama Tarpaulin. Ford Tractor Philippines, your long term agriculture partner. Chen Zi Xia. Nang Family. Tony D. William Goshako. Gabby Ang. By blood, Filipino by heart. Kami magte ten year um, wedding anniversary na kami this year. You know what we realize with marriage? It's it's a commitment. It's not a feeling. There, there are certain, there will be times in your life, in your relationship, that you don't love that person. Like you hate that person, or inis ka sa person na yan, or ayaw mo siyang makita, ayaw mo siyang makasama. But because you're committed, you're committed to love the person. You work hard so that you will love the person again and again. So it's hard work. Um, we are proud of this brand, not just because it has Lee. So if you can see, that's that's our surname. <laughs> Kaya, smile, Lee. Kaya ang values namin, we both came from a family of hardworking people. And we realized namin na kung ang negosyo kailangan ng hard work para maging successful. Ganun din ang relationship. Kailangan. Pareho kayong committed na hindi kayo bibitaw, whether hindi maganda yung, yung kung pinaglalagyan nyo ngayon. So, yung... yung sa Chinese naman, very, ano, kumbaga, importante yung future. You work hard now, and you, you enjoy the future. In the future. Sa, at sa Filipino, yeah, you also have to enjoy now, sa, now para at least, kumbaga, balance eh. pinasukan mo, di ba? It's not gonna be easy. And it's just like in any, it's not just a Filipino-Chinese thing. It's a, it's a global thing. But are you willing to fight for it? Right? Hindi pwedeng you quit that a lot of couples miss is this. A lot of things can be solved through good conversations. But you have to be willing to enter those hard conversations with your future in-law or with your parents now. Napag-uusapan naman yan eh. No, I think especially now that we live in a more uh, advanced society. I think in challenges kasi and like now that 
kami naman yung parents and we have to parent our kids. Siyempre, Chinese family, gusto nila matuto yung mga kids ko um, to speak um, and read in Mandarin. Sabi ko, why not? Diba it's a, it's a skill that they can use in the future, parang ganon. And yung mom ko naman, ang gusto niya, hindi, what if into the arts sila? Paano kung gusto nila maging dancer? <laughs> ano? Sabi ko, sige. Let them try. Mas sa akin, naging well-rounded. Well Kasi parang syempre, sa, sa, sa side niya, ang gusto nila, somebody who can continue the business. Diba? Parang lagi naman ganun. Sa side ko naman, sa mom ko, eh, sayang yung mga face nila. Baka pwede mag-artista. <laughs> yung ganun. Sabi ko, let them try. Give them options. In the end, it has to be the decision of the kids when they grow up already, when they're already matured enough to make their own decisions. Ako, ang like ko na sasabi, as long as they finish their studies, they, they may college degree sila, whatever they plan afterwards, then kami support kami. Yeah, there are still struggles with, re with regards to the relationship, right? But. I mean, it's not necessarily around because you're Chinese or you're what, mm -hmm. Christians, and etc. I'd say it boils down to going back to like you're two very distinct individuals, right? Own personalities, own upbringing, own perception around life. Communication, truthfulness, and like honesty. Like, don't always expect the other partner knows what you want. Uh, it's not so much about uh, finding the perfect person because that doesn't exist. Um, but it's more of like making sure that whatever imperfection the other person has, you're willing to put up with, right? I think the most important decision that you can make in your life is finding your life partner. Because parents, mo, you, you can never choose your parents. You can't choose who your kids are. But Ang pwedeng decision lang na pwede mong gawin sa entire life mo is your life partner. Your life partner can make or break you, can make or break your your future. And if nagkamali ka doon, mahirap nang bumalik, ah, hirap nang to go back and to restart. So, hindi siya dapat um, minamadali. I always believe true love waits. Hinihintay siya. Kung kailan ka ready. Once you make the decision, make sure hindi ka, you stick with it. Eh, yung sabi sa palapas eh, you make your own destiny. <laughs> you make your own destiny. <laughs> uh, once you get into the relationship, you are committed. And uh, of course, uh, know the non-negotiables. But of course, be ready to compromise. There are a lot of differences that you have to, you know, accept not just between the two of you but uh, in both families as well. We started out like having Chinese tradition, baga, the richness of uh, Chinese tradition, yung close family ties, yung hard, hard working and yung perseverance of a Chinese family, yung very rigid type of family background, joining it together with the Filipino culture, kumbaga learning to kumbaga enjoy the moment and have fun, kumbaga the best of both cultures. I've always loved music. I've always been uh, fascinated by the harmonies, the melodies, I never dreamed that my career would take me to these lofty heights. Every day I thank God for the gift of life, for the gift of good health, for the gift of my family, my business, and my music. Chinese by blood, Filipino by heart. Hashtag Roots was brought to you by... Dash Cargo, propelling possibilities. BA Securities, your trading partner in Asia Pacific.